Complete chaos is probably the word or words I would use to describe today. So I'm supposed to be getting my 240 loaded up in the trailer and going, doing like an overhaul, checking everything on it, because tomorrow we're headed to Grid Life, which is a huge motorsports festival in Atlanta, gonna be drifting. But my car is still at paint. I guess he was having a hard time with the Florida humidity getting the uh, primer to adhere right. So I'm kind of in car limbo and uh, I'm freaking out, just trying to get as much ready as I can. I know it makes sense, but Little cheat code with BMWs, or any car in general, if you leave the seat folded down, you can hear the exhaust a little better, and the pops. I love the pops. <laughs> I know it makes sense, but little cheat code with BMWs, or any car in general, if you leave the seat folded down, you can hear the exhaust a little better, and the pops. I love the pops. Sometimes it just pops louder than others. I know I mentioned yesterday that we were gonna have three new designs that would be dropping today, and confirmed they are dropped today. If you go and check the site, they're up now, and these are the three new designs. I think my favorite one of this drop is definitely this white one. Uh, we kind of went with like a pastel -y thing. James did all these designs, and I, I gotta say, James, are probably my favorite ones that you've done so far. Me so much. James James Murphy said that uh, this was his favorite shirt we've done so far. Really? Yeah, so we've got this one with the new kind of lightning bolt logo and then this one which I was wearing the other day Which is just kind of like another clean basic one So in addition to those three shirts, we now have the posters available online I mentioned that if you want to be a crazy supporter and get all three shirts that we will send one to you That's both signed by me and Nicole and then in addition to that We have another 300 that I signed and Nicole numbered 1 through 300 and then after that they're gonna be gone and we might do them in the future depending on how much you guys like them or whatever. So I showed yesterday, but this is the poster. It's like a really thick card stock. Did I forget anything? Uh, we got a new window decal too. This one is the same one that Adam has on his truck. A lot of YouTube comments for this one, so. You're welcome guys, it's five inches. James listens to your comments. So if you guys have any have, have, so, if you, have. <laughs> so if you guys ever have any uh, suggestions or anything you want us to do with the store, if for whatever reason I miss it, or if you have any sort of idea, James is always reading the comments and listens yep. to your feedback. And that's why we now have such awesome designs. And the reason that we're cleaning the trailer is not only for grid life, but because of the fact that at grid life, we're going to be doing something that we haven't ever done before. I kind of got the idea to not just sell merch because that's something that a lot of people ask if I'm going to do at places, but I never want to set up a tent and have to like sit at the tent. So it's going to be like one of those things. If you want a t-shirt or whatever, come up to the trailer and I'll have them in the trailer, but I'm not going to have a full on booth. So that's why I clean the trailer out that way. If you guys are coming in and out of the trailer, it looks nice. And this is the setup I'm guessing. Yeah. Kind of what we're starting with. So you're going to have all the essentials in here. So this is all the free stickers for people that come in the trailer? Free stickers for people that come in the trailer. And then we got lanyards. Cool. And lanyards. And lanyards. We're going to bring most of the new shirts. Yep. Plus, oh wow, that's a lot of shirts. One thing I've been wanting to do to kind of make uh, the trailer more of a pop-up store type deal, um, we're going to lay some vinyl on the inside of the doors. A lot of you guys have asked why I haven't wanted to actually wrap the trailer. When you put logos and stuff on trailers, it makes it seem like it's commercial. And then there's a lot of like regulations and technically you need a CDL and it's a big mess. So by keeping it simple, I'm just gonna wrap the insides of the doors. So when I have them open at the event, it's cool and branded. And then if we take photos in front of it, it looks cool. You have to just use your hand. Show, showman came over to help wash the truck and trailer and get everything nice for the good oh, life. Or you can buy yourself. Yeah. Just use a backup camera, don't be a girl. We got the logos here split up in pieces and then we're gonna do the other parts later. Yeah. So we finished one door and we realized that we probably should use car wrap vinyl. Car wrap vinyl has little pores in it so it's easier to press out air bubbles. Uh, this was this just cheap like sticker vinyl and it did not really cooperate. So we decided that we're just gonna do one door. Yeah, because it's too hard to do two. Yeah, because we got a lot of other more important stuff to do and this is just like an aesthetic thing. So anyway, at least it, it's kind of looking cooler than it was. Oh my gosh. Gotcha. 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 Let's see a wheelie. The inside of the trailer is all clean and ready to go. I know it probably doesn't look like much of an improvement to you guys, but these floors used to be covered in grease and dirt, so I'm really happy with how it is now. 
So the trailer's all sorted. I still don't have an update about my car, so I don't know what's going on about that. Hopefully later tonight I can pick it up because we're leaving early in the morning. Got these three whips over here clean. My friend Shulman's detailing the truck. BMW's looking nice. His Subaru's looking nice. He just got these wheels. Comment below if you like Matt's new wheels. I like Matt's new wheels. Matt got a great deal on his new wheels. Go you, Matt. I stole Matt's car so he could finish up washing the truck. I don't know if I have any Subaru lovers out here, but his car sounds great. It's so loud! Check out our new rug. We really don't like it. It's kind of not soft, which we probably should have known, and it's very large. It's a large rug. We're having post-purchase regret. <laughs> Alright, so I know there's a lot of information in this video, so I just wanted to kind of re-explain kind of what went down. We tried to make the trailer pretty because it's going to be kind of like a little pop-up shop at Grid Life, which we are going to. I will be driving on Friday and Saturday. I don't know if I'll be driving on Sunday. We may be there Sunday, we may not. Um, I look forward to meeting a lot of you guys that come out. We will have all the new t-shirts for sale there and we also, for any of you guys that aren't going to Grid Life, have the three new t-shirts and the posters and a new sticker online now if you wanna go check it out at lzmfg.com. It's 1 a.m. and uh, we're still packing and I should probably mention that I don't have my car yet so I guess uh, for whatever reason the primer just was not adhering so he had to redo all the primer and is respraying my kit and the fender and I'm gonna pick it up on the way to grid life so had I known it'd be such a process I wouldn't have done it I just thought that there would be enough time to uh, get everything done before grid life that way I could have my car looking nice so I could be proud of it but uh, I think paint and body work is just one of those things you always have to expect there to be some sort of hiccup I'll see you tomorrow and I hope you're as excited as I am to see what the car looks like with the new hood and like pretty fenders and it's gonna be great, it's gonna be a good time. We got such an early start but we're still running late. Somehow it never fails. We, we Stuff always happens but we're here to pick up the car now. I'm hoping it's ready because we gotta be a good life like ASAP. While we're finishing the paint we stopped at Walmart because Alberto's been <laughs> just going on and on about how he needs to get a water gun. Bro, look what I got. <laughs> we're supposed to come to a little square gun. I just found a machine gun water gun. I bet it probably isn't even that crazy. Crazy. It's $2. We should get all of them. He's still working on it. It's not done, but the hood's on and the hood looks so mean. We're just gonna have to finish installing the hood pins. Uh, we're not gonna have enough time to do the fenders, so I'll probably just put the old ones on for now. I guess he had a bit of an issue bending the paint, but that's something we're just gonna take care of when we get back. It's not a big deal. But hey, look how good that looks. No, I know. Like the rear quarter panel looks amazing. I should definitely focus on the bodywork rather than the paint color. Honestly, I like this paint color better. It's closer to your old. I know. I don't think we talked about it in the video either, but uh, I guess he had to take my car to a frame machine because that little impact actually bent the car like two degrees in the rear. It's gonna look so good. We got the hood and the fenders all mounted to the car. He's finishing spraying the bumpers. Uh, we're gonna be insanely late, but at this point, it doesn't really make a difference. So we're trying to make the most out of the time. We've been kind of cleaning up the car, doing lots of little stuff that needs to be done. Alberta's now helping fix uh, the step that's gotten demolished just because this trailer sits so low. And by fixing, I mean banging with a hammer very hard. Oh, I, I filmed it, Stopping to get gas, we're rushing because they close at midnight. And this uh, tire's pretty toast. Luckily, we have a spare though, so we're working on that now. So glad I got one. Stoked on white wheels for the trailer. Look at this guy. <laughs> Poor guy. It's okay. So I figured I'd give you guys one last final update before we end the video. Um, leaving off with the paint and all the stuff going on with my car, we did get the bumpers painted and the side skirts and all that stuff looks great, but Randy's not happy with how everything came out. So I think he actually wants to respray the whole car again just to get it perfect. Um, I can't thank Randy enough. Uh, if you're curious to shop his Surat performance, he's got an insane attention to detail, which I really appreciate because I do myself too. And I'm glad that it bothers him how the car is now and he's gonna help me get it looking perfect. But for now, um, we are off to grid life. The blowout kind of messed up our timing a little bit. And we're gonna be showing up right when the gates close. So I don't know if we'll even be able to unhitch the trailer. I don't know if there'll be room in the pits. It just sucks because today was the one day that we were actually like doing really good on time. We were gonna get there right when gates open and we're running late, but stuff happens. I you guys are excited i've heard so many good things about this festival i'm excited to meet a lot of you i'm excited to sleep i hope we get to sleep but i don't think we're gonna get to sleep much so 
Yeah, another text at 7 a.m. We're not even gonna get there until like. We probably won't go to bed until like one or two. So uh, yeah, um, if we're sleep deprived and we don't talk a lot, that's why. Thanks guys so much for watching. Oh, and much thank you to Big Boost because because of him that I'm able because to edit a video to upload because you guys like it when I upload and I like it to upload. Thanks, bye. Okay. <laughs>